Whenever you are going to be working with images in any of your Adobe programs, but especially in design, it's always a good idea to use Adobe Bridge. Now, I talk about Adobe Bridge in great detail uh, at the bottom of the software training page. You'll see a title mark for Photoshop, and the first couple of chapters of that are completely dedicated to Bridge. So if you want to know the ins and outs of it, I encourage you to uh, go watch that section. But I do want to dive into it uh, a little bit here for this training, just so you can familiarize with how Bridge interacts with InDesign. So I have here uh, on the front page, I've removed the images again and just placed two frames, and I want to bring up Adobe Bridge. So to bring up Adobe Bridge, here's this BR or Bridge icon up at the top. And if I click that, that's going to launch Adobe Bridge for me. And I'm already in our links folder in our projects file. Now, here's the exciting thing about Bridge that I like the most. And that is that I can view files as if they're open. So it doesn't matter really what file type it is. So for instance, if I back up here, we'll see here I'm looking at our Chase Harbor uh, PDF as well as our InDesign document. And to give you an idea or to put this into perspective, if you were in Windows and you were just browsing to these files on your own, we'll see here that we have InDesign documents, uh, older CS3 versions, InDesign documents. If I back up, here's our uh, Chase Sky Harbor OM. And we, all we get is an ID um, icon for this file. We can't really see the contents of it. And if I go into the links, there's a lot of different file types here, like EPS for an example, where it just gives us an icon. Windows does not give us a preview of what's in that file. But if we're in Bridge, then we can get previews for those files. We can even zoom in on them up close to see what that file is whether it's an InDesign document or I come into our links and we start looking at the EPS files that we couldn't see in native uh, default windows. But that is not the only benefit to Adobe Bridge, of course. And the main benefit here is that it is seamlessly, seamlessly compatible with InDesign. So let's say if I want to place this number 11 image in our InDesign document, let me minimize that window, then I can highlight that image, go up to File, Place, and I can place this in InDesign. So it's going to place it in whatever frame I have selected. So let me back up so you can see that. I have frame number two selected, and if I switch back to bridge, and let's say for this one, I'll select image number 24. I go up to file, place, and InDesign. Then it is going to place it into that frame for me. So it's obviously bigger than the frame itself. So I'm going to go to fitting and fit the content to my frame. Now there is another way that I can do this if I switch back to bridge and let's say come back to number 11 and I'm going to click and drag and drop it right into my other frame. I can do that as well. And then of course I can fit the content to frame if I select it here. There. Now, that's just the basics of Bridge, but there is yet another cool new feature here in InDesign CS5 called Mini Bridge, which allows us to easily access Bridge. But it's important to note that in order to use Mini Bridge, Bridge itself has to be running in the background. It's kind of a communication way between the two applications. So, to access Mini Bridge, I'm going to come up to the Windows menu and choose Mini Bridge. And then Mini Bridge launches. Now, when you first launch it, it's going to <coughs> it's going to ask you to browse for the files. So we're just going to select that. And here it shows me my desktop. So I'm going to browse to my InDesign project files. 
my Chase Sky Harbor offering memorandum. And here I can resize this if I want to. I can move things around if I need to. But this is where I need to be inside of my links folder within our project file. So here I can do the same thing. I can click and drag these images if I want to place them. And if I move it off to the pasteboard outside of my work area, then we can see that it changes it into a place icon. So now if I want to just click and drag anywhere within my project or outside of my project, I can easily put an image there as well. And here I have a lot of the same tools that I have in the main program where I can zoom in, zoom out, and view these images in their entirety. Now, Many Bridge, when it's out on its own like this, does take up a lot of real estate. So what we want to do is maybe minimize this a little bit and change it to an icon so we only pull it up when we need it. What I want to do is click and drag and I can drop it anywhere that I want to over here on the side and I'm just going to click and drag it, drop it down here on the bottom and then we can see that it creates an icon in our panels here just like all the others. So if I need to bring it up again I can just hit mini bridge and all of my images and assets for this project are available when I need them. So again if I want to drag this out and I'm missing a font for that particular file which is okay but that is an InDesign file that I can place within that file and so forth. So one quick, easy, efficient tool for managing graphics within InDesign.